Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Maria. I'm a makeup artist and green beauty expert based in Toronto, Canada. And today we're going to be talking about loss of firmness in the skin and saggy skin. I'm going to give you the top skincare ingredients that can help with that. And I'm going to give you some products that these ingredients are found in. I'm also going to give you a do-it-yourself mask, a firming mask that you can whip up with just a few ingredients from your pantry. So if you're interested, let's do it. So why does your skin start to sag in the first place? Why do we lose firmness in the skin? Well, that has to do with the loss of the two uh, proteins, collagen and elastin. I'm sure you've heard of these these two in the past. Of course, this happens with age, but there are other factors that I'm going to talk about. So let's paint a picture here. Collagen is like the skeleton. It gives the skin um, the framework that it needs. It keeps it upright. Elastin is like the little elastic bands within collagen, and it helps your skin like bounce back after it's been stretched and pulled. So think about, you know, if you have been through pregnancy or even if you have lost weight. So of course, ingredients in skincare can help, but you need to know what other factors are at play so you can try to alter or prevent those. So the factors, the main factors that contribute to sagging skin, of course, is aging, because as we get older, we stop producing collagen and elastin. Our bodies uh, do not make as many of the good things. I mean, even with hyaluronic acid or other ingredients that, you know, our body produces. So same thing goes with collagen and, um, and elastin. And as you know, we don't produce as much. Therefore, when we start to age, we start to lose the volume. We start to kind of, um, you know, gravity takes over and it's really visible, especially on the skin. Sagginess in the face is irreversible. You can manage it, or you can go for an expensive procedure that's gonna lift and hold you up in that way. But not everyone has access to that or wants to go through an invasive procedure like that. The second factor that contributes to, um, you know, the collagen loss, the elastin and the saggy skin is not protecting your skin from UV um, rays. So this will be, you know, you have loved baking in the sun, you don't wear sunscreen. So year after year, um, you know, decades of this will break down the good stuff in your skin. When ultraviolet rays from the sun hit the topmost layer of the skin, they penetrate the skin and then they break down the DNA framework. This means that your skin is going to just be destroyed in that way. Your DNA framework, um, the collagen, all the stuff that's kind of keep keeping your skin up is just going to speed it up regardless of the age that you're at. And this is going to lead to a droopy appearance. The third reason that your skin might be sagging and drooping, um, and again, age is a factor, but if it's happening prematurely, this can be because of your lifestyle habits. So this means that uh, perhaps um, it could be um, a sudden weight loss. Um, in, like, I mean, picture that overall in the body. Um, when you have the skin that has been, has been stretched and then it kind of has to bounce back in place. So weight loss, um, dietary habits if you're a smoker. And then again, um, you know, with the sun, how you deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis and how you dealt that um, also when you were younger. Did you protect yourself? Did you seek shade? So if you consume high sugar, um, you know, carbs, high sugar diet, um, that type of thing, that's going to speed up the breakdown of collagen and elastin. And the same has to do with anyone who smokes. So let's go into how I can make my skin firmer. Um, so I am 46 years old, going on to 47 um, by the end of the year. And I can tell you that I have definitely noticed the volume in my face changing and, you know, the appearance of kind of like droopiness here around the mouth. So what can we do? I already mentioned that, uh, you know, kind of sagging skin is irreversible unless you go in for a cosmetic procedure, but there are ingredients. There's things that you can do to manage it. There's ingredients that can actually help smooth the skin. They can help the appearance of the skin. So what are these ingredients? 
So the first one I'm going to mention, and this might be something that you might not want to put on your face, would be um, olive oil, um, shea butter. There's ingredients like that that have that are high in oleic acid and antioxidants and also vitamins. So you need to seek out these ingredients when you're choosing a moisturizer for something like olive oil that might be too much to put on your skin, but that doesn't mean that you cannot grab um, an olive oil based lotion for the rest of your body. Our body also um, suffers similar effects as our face. Um, just because we're covered up in clothing and I guess we don't see it, it doesn't mean that it's also not going to suffer from sagginess and droopiness. So you're going to be noticing that. So olive oil is a fantastic ingredient. Um, shea butter is another one to bring into um, a body lotion to help your skin if you find it um, too rich to use on your face. One lotion such as this that I have in the store is Purist. This is by Cocoon Apothecary. It's an unscented lotion. It's beautiful, fantastic for everyone, even if you're sensitive, because it doesn't contain any essential oils. So Purist is high in oleic acid and antioxidants, which support elasticity. So you need to be aware of these ingredients and make sure that when you're getting um, your products, it's not just water. Um, you need to have the these richer ingredients in the skincare. The second ingredient that you need to make sure that you have is hyaluronic acid. And I feel like this is easy to find in a variety of serums nowadays. Um, a lot of different facial serums for the skin contain hyaluronic acid. Uh, the case here is the same with um, the Nordic Boost by Cocoon Apothecary. This one here contains um, aloe vera as well and hyaluronic acid. And aloe vera is another ingredient that you need to look uh, for in your serums for sure. Um, it's found in several of my serums in the store here, such as Nordic Boost and also the Living Libations Rose and Frankincense Firming Fluid. This one here has aloe vera and also some of my favorite essential oils, such as frankincense and rose auto, and it also contains in rose hip infusion. So back to those vitamins, uh, the richer vitamins, beta carotene, um, you need these antioxidants as well to have your skin feel firm and look, have a firmer appearance. The hyaluronic acid in the serum, such as Nordic Boost, is wonderful because it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines, but it helps by binding water molecules to collagen to increase water content. So your skin will be plumper and because of that it will feel um, more toned and lifted if it's plumper then it's going to look fuller in appearance so that is definitely an ingredient you need to have in your serums and i think that it's easy to have that because a lot of serums nowadays contain hyaluronic acid shea butter is found in some of the helena lane moisturizers these are completely waterless moisturizers so yes they are going to be um, a little bit richer so a little goes a long way here. You need a tiny amount, um, smaller than a pea size to do your entire face, and these will melt into um, your skin with the warmth of your hands. So they are going to leave behind, um, you know, an oily finish at first, depends on how fast your skin drinks it up. But again, shea butter is rich in vitamins A and E. It contains those good fats that your skin needs. So look for a moisturizer, if, especially if you are dry, um, winter and summer, some people can be very dry, that will contain shea butter and use that as your moisturizer. The next ingredient is peptides. Peptides are multifunctional and I have um, a serum by Evan Bow. There's a daytime and a nighttime serum, the regenerating serum that contains peptides. Peptides act as signaling molecules which enable some peptides to improve the production of the structural proteins, which are our collagen and elastin that we talked about previously. So they enhance epidermal thickness, which means that you have more elasticity and tightness on the skin. Tightness meaning not the bad tightness that sometimes you get after using a horrible uh, face cleanser. I mean tightness as in firmness, all right? So your skin can feel more tight and um, elastic. The Evan Bow serums also contain wonderful other ingredients such as vitamin C. They contain plant acids as well for kind of like a gentle resurfacing um, exfoliation. They contain, yeah, we mentioned the vitamin C and also niacinamide, which is B3. And niacinamide is wonderful for so many different uh, skin concerns. 
Okay, so the next ingredient, and this is a big one, and I'm sure you've heard of it before, is retinol. Retinol is fantastic for your skin for so many different reasons, from um, improving conditions like acne, to you know reducing visible signs of aging such as fine lines and it's also fantastic for of course firming and plumping the skin so with um, of course with retinol being in the green beauty industry i am talking about plant um plants here that mimic the effects of retinol i'm not talking about vitamin a because i find that that can be really sensitizing if uh, vitamin a if you have found a product that works for you by all means Go for it and use it and you're going to definitely notice the, uh, you know, multitasking effects of retinol. So in my store, I have the Etymology um, Retinol Serum. This is a Bacuchiol Serum and it's wonderful. It's, uh, it is an oil-based and a little is um, goes a long way it can be quite an active product so please read the instructions carefully and ease into it if you're not used to wearing um you know or using these types of products they can actually be even the the plant-based the natural stuff can be very active on the skin so go slow when you're first starting out of course as you know vitamin a is an excellent antioxidant so um you know try to find uh, antioxidants that work for you and this leads me to the next one which is of course vitamin c now vitamin c can come in a few different formulations you can have it be water-based you can find, have it be oil-based and you can also have different percentages in strength the consonant um, and licorice the the consonant vitamin c and licorice serum is water-based and has about a 10 percent um like a water soluble vitamin c and then etymologies uh, vitamin C with probiotics is about 15%, but this is an oil. So you need to kind of um, decide what is your preference, like where in your routine are you going to use it? Do you prefer an oil that um, also contains the benefit of probiotics? Um, beautiful product, but again, you have to kind of, uh, you know, go with what feels right for you. If 10% is what your skin can take, stick with 10%, something like the consonant uh, and li the vitamin C licorice, or if you want something a little bit stronger the etymology vitamin c with probiotics is a fantastic product okay so second to last i'm gonna recommend for you an alpha hydroxy acid something like las paz uh, intensive glycolic peel the peel part, please ignore that. It doesn't actually peel. Um, but as you can see, you just kind of like apply this ingredient on cleansed skin. It's super light, almost feels like a serum. You apply it at night on cleansed skin and you leave it on. This is not a product that um, is removed after you apply it. And again, kind of like retinol, you need to start slow. So of course you are not combining it on the days that you're using retinol. The uh, glycolic acid is applied on the skin on its own and it's not followed up with anything else but glycolic acid is fantastic for the skin because it helps to speed up skin renewal it brings you know the new skin to the surface and the new skin is usually firmer and tighter and that's how i mean it's also a multitasking product but that's what it does when it comes to firming your skin and lastly this is super important and we mentioned it earlier uh, with the reasons, you know, why we would lose firmness, especially if it's like happening to you prematurely, and that is SPF. There is such a great range of SPFs out there. It doesn't matter to me which one you like, as long as you find one and you use it. There, there is no point using all these other uh, beautiful, you know, antioxidants to protect the skin, to, um, you know, to boost collagen production. We're doing all these things with all the other beautiful products, but it, we fail to protect our skin from farther breakdown of the structural proteins. So you need to have a really good SPF. Um, the ones by Helena Lane, if you want something a little bit richer, they come in the pack. They're wonderful. They uh, help, you know, protect you from the from the sun but they also offer you uh, shea butter uh, consonant has a beautiful one that is skin uh, tone I have so many SPFs in the store and living libations has a really beautiful light zinc lotion 
everybody loves the sunshine it's wonderful so there's so so much variety out there please drop me a message if you haven't found a mineral sunscreen that you like based on your skin type there there is such a great range out there so if you want something lighter that exists if you want something richer that's also going to nourish and moisturize plus protect that also exists so find an spf and use it every single day when you're outside more than 15 minutes and make sure that you reapply at least every couple of hours so finally i want to share with you a simple do-it-yourself mask that you can whip up with stuff from your pantry so i'm going to list the recipe also below but what you're going to need is half a cup of greek yogurt on the day that I did the mask, I didn't have Greek yogurt, but you can easily strain the yogurt you have with some paper towel over a colander just to remove some of the water. Otherwise, your mask will be a little bit runny, as you can see in mine. So you're going to need half a cup of Greek yogurt. You're going to need half a tablespoon of honey, and you're also going to need two tablespoons of red wine. So the, the these ingredients have so many benefits for the skin. So let's start with the Greek yogurt. Apart from giving you, you know, it has contains all the vitamins right contains vitamin c and calcium it's also antibacterial it contains probiotics which are amazing for the skin and it also contains alpha hydroxy acids which are going to give a really kind of light gentle exfoliation to the skin the honey i mean what can we say about that there's so many amazing things it's also um antibacterial and it's also a humectant which means that it helps kind of draw um the water content to your skin on, on the surface and and help plump up your skin. It's a wonderful ingredient. It's soothing. If you have breakouts, um, absolutely fantastic for the skin. Please good use a good honey. Um, if you cannot afford manuka, just get another local honey that's well made. No Billy B, no, no little containers that look like teddy bears from the supermarket, all right? The third ingredient, of course, was the red wine. And you have to use a red wine because red wine is rich in resveratrol. And I always mess this up and in time I want to say it. Resveratrol. There you go. I said it. It's a super powerful antioxidant. And as we mentioned before, antioxidants have the protective qualities um, to your skin. So it's uh, fantastic for the skin, of course, for that reason, but it also contains positive and negative ions. Um, the negative, the positive and negative ions help increase the oxygen supply and leave the skin bright and glowing. So you just take the ingredients and you mix them together. And then you take a brush, take a paintbrush or anything else you have, a mask applicator, and apply it over cleansed skin. You can leave it on, go watch your favorite show, leave it on your skin, and then when it's dry, you can just go and rinse it with lukewarm water. Be gentle when you pat your skin and then just proceed with your uh, the rest of your skincare. If you have leftovers, just put them in the fridge, make sure you mark it so no one eats it, all right? And then you can do this maybe a few different nights in a row. All these ingredients are natural and they are fantastic for your skin. So, um, you know, there's no uh, need for concern if you wanna use it a few different nights in a row to see if you can notice a little bit of difference. I did this video a while back, I'm gonna link it uh, below. So you can see what the original looked like and it was really really popular so i thought i would add it into this video on firming skincare and finally if you like to read about this topic i also do blogs and my website has a few different resources so if you go into greenbeautycurator.ca and then you go uh click the little tab that says other go under resources blogs and you can find a full write-up on the best skin firming ingredients um, if you prefer to read it and have that information there on your fingertips a lot of the stuff overlaps maybe i've added a few different um things here on the video but um, if you are more of a reader and you prefer to do that i'm also going to link the blog below so i talked about a few different ingredients today remember what i gave you doesn't all have to be used together you need to pick a few of these actives and bring them into your am 
or your PM regimen. A fantastic way to do it would be to start with cleanse skin and start, you know, perhaps with the um, a firming serum like the Living Libations, Rose and Frankincense. Start with something like that that gives you like hyaluronic acid or aloe vera. It gives you some essential oils for the skin, but it's light. It's a light serum, um, kind of like a hyaluronic acid by Helena Lane, for example. And then on top of that, you can add everything else. Okay, you could add um, your vitamin C or perhaps your vitamin C already contains the hyaluronic acid. So just watch the ingredients and try to find a combination that works. Um, for the AM, bring some of these actives in, bring in the plumping um, ingredients of the aloe vera, the hyaluronic acid, your vitamin C, and then, you know, make sure that you have SPF. In the nighttime, you can perhaps use um, a, an oil that has, a, you know, a plant um, mimicking retinol in it, and then you can layer up with um, a moisturizer and then alternate on some nights and do a glycolic acid okay this would be my recommendations but please if you have any questions pop them below and i'll help you kind of streamline um, a routine that contains these actives in it hey everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the information on this video let me know if you have any questions you can check out my website at greenbeautycurator.ca and if you want to send me an email or a note all the information is below Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you here with the next video. Bye.